Every man's life is an adventure. A constant cascade of choices about what to pursue. A journey with a unique set of decisions about what path to take. And the continual haunting question, what really makes life worth living? It's this question that drives us to find purpose. It's this question that invites us to join God's eternal expedition. Butterflies in the Amazon have these type of teeth. Even, even the butterflies look like this. <laughs> Welcome to Eternal Expeditions, folks. I'm Levi Saney. This is Shelby Turner. We're going to be the host for today's new and upcoming show for the season, Eternal Expedition. Hey, we're out here today getting our bows sighted in, getting ready for season. We're going to do a little test today, too. We decided to take a challenge with the Toxic Broadhead. We've seen it on YouTube. We've seen it on Toxic's website where they shoot the jugs of water and see which one will drain out fastest. And I really think today, Levi, the Toxic's going to take that rage. I don't know, Shelby. I'm, uh, I'm all about proven facts and, and meat in the freezer. And this bad boy right here, Rage 2 and a quarter has got me several deer on the wall and in the freezer. So uh, we'll just let's, have to do the test and see what happens. Let's get it done. <laughs> All right, we're here to talk about broadheads and uh, our upcoming season and uh, test and how we're gonna utilize and try out different broadheads this year and um, some of the results that we had from last year. Uh, I'd like to start with the hammerhead made by Rocket, I believe. This is a broadhead that's an expandable with a rubber band. It's got three blades. Uh, Jared Proctor last year shot a beautiful um, Pope and Young buck with this broadhead last year. It's a buck we called Showtime. The buck he shot didn't go very far. I think it made it 75 yards maybe. I think and I went out and seen that buck right after he killed it, and uh, it left a pretty big hole in the deer. Yep. But uh, we're going to do a test, and we'll show you what this broadhead will do to a milk jug with uh, so Mr. Kool-Aid in it. Um, we're going to test out the Raji, the Rage, two and one quarter um, expandable broadhead. It's a slip cam broadhead. Um, this is a pretty popular broadhead. It's been on the market for six to seven years now, maybe more. I don't know. I've shot this broadhead for the past four years. Had very good success with it. And um, we had a uh, harvest, a uh, cord stencil harvested a giant doe up in northern Missouri with this broadhead last, last year. And same results, didn't make it very far, didn't make the best of shots, but uh, had good entry um, on, on the deer with, with this broadhead. And I don't know if it exited or not, but had a good trail and, like I said, uh, good results at the end of it. Okay. Yeah, I've been a Muzzy fan for the last several years. And as everybody knows, for the last few years, Rage has been the Rage. But I think the next big thing coming out will be the Toxic. The uh, broadhead's really unique broadhead. I haven't ever seen anything like this before. But a lot of the video that we've watched on it and everything shows some really great results. And I look forward to shooting it today. Hey, just pull the field tip out, stuck it in, and we're going to see what happens here. Remember? Yeah, I can probably shoot right again. 
that shot. It would have killed a deer. It would have killed a deer. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, we have completed the test. We lined up four jugs out here uh, at our little shooting range 3D target. And um, we all shot at the same time from about 20 yards. And you can see here we drew a drew a, a drain line below here. All the lids were on tight. so They uh, all drained down except Proctor's. <laughs> yeah, Proctor's shot was a little bit high, so we've been razzing him. This is where we're supposed to shoot right here. So we get full drainage, and, and Proctor hit right here. And I then, can't uh, say much. Uh, Nathan, though, Nathan uh, Washam, one of our team members, he, he got so embarrassed that he left. He missed his altogether. So we got a full one left here, Nathan. This is called a missed deer. So the Montec didn't perform <laughs> very well today since it didn't get shot. Yeah. Well, it missed, so we'll just it leave missed. it at that. Shelby, tell us about your uh, hey, toxic broadhead, the new toxic broadhead. First time I've ever shot this broadhead. Um, we just got them in today and came out pulled a field tip out of an arrow that we'd been sighting in with. Uh, after all the bragging and, and stuff I did on the rage, and not, not to down cut it any at all, it is still a good broadhead. Um, yeah, pretty impressive today. Um, really curious to get out in the woods, get a shot in on a deer with them, see what happens. Yes, sir. And also, um, I'm going to make a small confession here as I'm trying to swat off the mosquitoes and stuff. I did get my first kill today, and kids, don't be mad at me. I got the Kool-Aid man. He's down. So, tag one in the freezer, Levi. Well, Levi, season will be here before we know it. Been out, got the food plots out, stuff's starting to grow. We use a little rain, but stuff's starting to grow. And it has been a lot of work getting ready this year. It has, Shelby. It's been a, it was a mild summer in a way, but then it's been hot. Seems like every time I went out to do something, it was hot. And man, the bugs. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've brought home more ticks than I have anything else this year. Everybody's pitched in, had a lot of good time in the woods, had a lot of great time out in God's creation, and uh, I think that it'll all pay off in the end this year. Here in a little bit, we'll see whenever we start seeing some pictures of what everybody's accumulated up on their cameras this year. Absolutely. I'm definitely excited about that. I know we have uh, several uh, friends and family that we know and uh, team members that are on our staff with the Eternal Expedition, and uh, everybody's got out trail cameras. People have been trying to get out and spot deer. Uh, late in the evenings and stuff, and I know there's been some results, so I'm pretty pretty hyped up to see about uh, what's on cards and video this, this uh, end of this year, first of season. Yeah, I think I think we've got a pretty good accumulation of pictures in there. I don't even I don't even know where they all came from. Kind of everybody doesn't want anybody to know whose deer is what in here, but we got a lot of great pictures, and I think there's some really good deer from up in northern Missouri. Uh, hope to get to go up there and hunt a little bit this year. Uh, get away and take a little long weekend or something, uh, make all this hard work worth it and see if we can't put some meat in the freezer. Absolutely. All right, we are going to talk about um, hit list today and some of the bucks that we have been getting um, on camera all over the state of Missouri, up into Iowa, and uh, just all over the place. And to start with, I believe we have three bucks that are in a patternable um, bachelor group. All right, we're really excited about this deer. We're going to call him Big Daddy this year. He's probably about a four, four and a half, maybe five and a half year old deer. We don't have a lot of history on him, but he is a buck that's coming out in the same field every night, and we're hoping to get a stand up on him fairly quick and get something done early with him. Uh, he's a big mainframe 10, real tall, comes out real wide, doesn't ever close back up, and uh, looking forward to getting him on film. All right, the big nasty buck is another buck that is uh, in the same field on a plot that we had made early this year. Don't know how old he is, don't have history on him either. He just showed up come out and we were all in awe and 
uh, still are in shock of what this deer looks like. And uh, he has shed his, his velvet for the year. All right, and the number three buck that is coming out in this uh, bachelor group is probably the last one on the hit list, but he's not definitely not off the list. His name is Skyscraper. He's uh, probably a three and a half, four year old deer maybe. He's a split G2 on the right side, nice genetics, tall tines, and uh, he better not step out in front of the, front of the camera with the bow either. So. And the next buck we're going to talk about today is a turkey buck. Some neighbors led us on to him last year and uh, started getting a few photos of him last year. He's really a great buck last year. I think he's about a five and a half year old deer probably. He was a mainframe 10 last year. He's also a mainframe 10 this year. Uh, put on a lot of mass this year though. Really has increased in the size, got a lot taller. A buck is uh, right now is fairly well patterned, but not not getting consistent pictures of this buck. But um, both of them always seem to be together. The not so far deer has really exploded this year. All right, on to the next buck, uh, face plant. This deer come off a farm a little bit further north here. We got the pictures of him in a bachelor group with some other nice, really young deer, but looks like good genetics. However, this deer, face plant, looks like he literally fell maybe this year at some time or someone just got really mad at him because his horns are broke, smashed in front, right off the bat. And the next buck would be the Hulk, I believe is what we're gonna call him. He was just one of the little dinks up there, your average little nine point with the split G2 or something, I'm not sure. But uh, we got pictures of him early on this season, all at night. And this buck has exploded and added several inches and just got crazy with points. He has 12 or 13, I believe. Along with all the hit list deer, a lot of guys had a lot of great encounters last year. There's a lot of bucks out there. A lot more people are sending us in footage right now. We're constantly adding more bucks to it. We've got a lot of pictures of deer last year that made it through. They still have got a few photos of them at night this year on their cameras, but not a lot of them are showing up in the daytime yet. These may be some bucks they made it through last year, so they're looking to make it through again this year, and we're hoping to get them during the daylight and put them on the ground. Shelby Turner, back here with Eternal Expedition. We've been talking today about preparations for our hunting season. Talking about food plots, getting them out, sowing the seed for our food plots, getting ready to try and draw some of those big deer in. Been hanging stands, getting everything ready to go. Been making a hit list. Everybody's got their deer that they're out targeting. Nobody's gonna tell you where it's at, of course, but everybody's out targeting their deer. But it gives me time to think back about some other things that I should be doing that I probably don't do enough of. I'm out sowing the seed to draw deer in, but I should be out sowing the seed of God's word. We need to cast that seed every day, far and wide, because you never know when one of those seeds will drop somewhere and grow into a new believer. And even if it's not a new believer, it may just be someone who needed a little boost that day to be able to get back in touch with the Lord. And as far as our hit list, hey, one of the most important hit lists we could make would be the hit list of our family and friends who maybe have drifted away from Christ or don't even know the Lord yet. And we should put them on our hit list and target them to get them back in touch with Christ. Hey, Shelby Turner here with Eternal Expedition. Have a great day. This year we're going to give away this bow. It's a Matthews Reason. It's a brand new, uh, straight from the factory, and we're going to give it away. There's three ways that you can enter. Uh, you can get your name entered three times in the drawing to win this bow. We're going to give it away October 13th at our Wild Game Dinner at the McDonald County Fairgrounds. So the first way you can enter to, to win this bow is to show up October 13th at the McDonald County Fairgrounds. If you show up, your name will be put in the box and we'll enter you in the drawing to win this bow. The second way that you can enter your name, you can get your name entered a second time by subscribing to our YouTube channel here on YouTube. There's a subscribe button, you click that and every time we add a new video, we'll send it to you. There's a third way that you can enter, you can get your name in three times and that is to like us on Facebook and to share one of the videos. So if you like us on Facebook and then share one of our videos, that will enter you for the third chance to win this bow. Hey, good luck, and I, I hope you uh, have a great season.